Alrighty guys, what's up? Teddy G and the B. Welcome back to the channel. You know we playing some Street Fighter 6. We finna hop into it. But today I got something special for y'all. We're gonna be playing some Rashido Trials. We just went over our first look at him, seeing what he was like. And uh, now we're about to go ahead and hop into the trials. If I have enough time to do all of them, I will. But if not, you know what it is. We'll be right back. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the video. How to play Rashido. Using his speed parkour moveset and air currents that bolster his attacks and movement techniques, Rashid excels at keeping his opponent guessing. Rashid's all about using his high mobility and forward moving attacks to get in close, then wearing his opponent down with a powerful rush down and flurry of offense. Make use of long reaching kicks, spacing control, projectiles, and surprise attacks out of run to keep opponents eager to close the distance in check. Arabian Cyclone will come in key for closing the distance, treading in combos on launched opponents and keeping the offensive pressure on. Nice. Next guy. Spinning Mixer. At least multiple chops while spinning, useful for combos and sequences. Also makes great anti-air attacks. This handy move changes direction depending on the strength of the button used. Light will send you charging forward without leaving you to open. Damn. Def uh, definitely something to lean on when approaching an opponent or to link from normal attacks. Oh, you can try it too. I didn't know. The medium version sends you spinning upward diagonally with a nice quick startup. It's great for closing out combos and close range. Just like we said in the previous video, it's good for like um, closing out combos and corner carry. You'll recover quickly after it connects, so be sure to follow up with uh, when you have somebody cornered. With the heavy version, the attack will go straight up. It'll beat out incoming jump attacks, so it's great anti-air tool. Look for chances to snipe jumping opponents out of the air so that you can establish the pace. Overdrive. This one's completely invincible to when an opponent's attack, so lean on it when you need to get out of jam. Okay, so it's, it's invincible DP. Next guy, Eagle Spike. Bound forward while delivering a powerful flying kick. Pretty much dynamic entry. Deals high damage and it's easy to use to tack on an additional hit at the end of a combo. So also just like Spinning Mixer, but except uh, I think uh, it leaves you close to the opponent now. Spring forward for a surprise attack. This is this one isn't half bad, but me, I like to tack it on at the end of combos for a stylish finish. Okay, okay. Who's talking right now? Springing forward for a surprise attack with this one isn't half bad, but me, I'll, who who is that? The startup speed will depend on the strength of the button. So light, medium, heavy, depending on which one it is, it has a different startup. So that's different from Street Fighter V. They used to all be the same startup and just different links. Uh, so be careful. The medium and heavy ones pack a punch and are easy to follow up with attacks after landing them. And the light ones, great for combos off the normal attacks. Okay. So pretty much medium heavy, you use uh, for pressure and for knockdowns and in the combos, and the light one you just use to like jab, jab, spin, uh, eagle spike, stuff like that. Nail someone with this launch. Okay, okay, okay. It's pretty much the same as Street Fighter Five. You get a combo off of your regular stuff after it. You couldn't do that though. That's hype. The next guy. Whirlwind shot. Pretty much our projectile we have with Rashid. There's a light, medium, heavy version. I think the light one is close. Medium is like, it has the most arc and the heavy one goes the farthest. Yeah, no, I had that backwards. The light one goes the farthest and the heavy one goes the shortest. And the medium one's for like that anti-air. Holding it down, increase both the number of its hits and damage for the shot. That also sends out a whirlwind. Once you've got the whirl, uh, the wind swirling around your feet, your powered up whirlwind is good to go. If you look closely here, you also get the, the little whirlwind at the end right there that also powers up your next button if you use it quick enough. Top it off holding, okay, they're just going through what I just said. Overdrive. Ooh. So his overdrive whirlwind shot is pretty much his um his uh 
Ah, uh, what? He had a new super that lets you shoot out whirlwinds. That's crazy. Ooh, that's out of the dash, too. That's sick. Locked in the projectile ward, then mix it in, uh, mix in a th to throw off your opponent for a great option using combos. Okay. Continue to the next guy. Arabian Cyclone. This is his new special. Spinning attack that some uh that summons up a whirlwind in front of you. The move can be followed up with two different movement techniques. Okay. So this is the aerial dash, like his V skill two from Street Fighter V, and his roll that leads into his nail assault. Yeah. Attack sequences, but you're missing out if you skip on the mobility options it opens up. Looking to close the distance, start a close range sequence to extend the combo. Then this is the move for you. First up is Wing Stroke. This will end you soaring gracefully through the air towards the opponent. You can launch, uh, you can launch jump attacks out of it too for a nasty mix up. Yeah, I noticed that when we were in the last video, how that was heavy kick though. You can get heavy kick out of it. That's gross as hell. Let's see that one more time. I was able to get like medium punch and medium kick, but I wasn't able to get heavy kick out. That's actually pretty gross. Distance doesn't mean a thing with the wind on your side. Chase after a launched opponent. Oh, okay. From this and your bounce makes some highlight reels. Okay, that's gross. So it launches too on regular hit, not even EX. Okay, that's sick. And next we have Rolling Assault. This is the, yeah, the fireball. Uh, does the does the Arabian Cyclone beat projectiles though? Is it too low? It might be too quick for it unless you charge it. And even if it's blocked, you'll be able to keep up your offense. Oh snap! Making it a potent, potent weapon in your arsenal. Sorry guys, I'm going stupid. It's hot in here. Oh, so if the Arabian Cyclone is blocked, let's look at that again. So it's plus. Yeah, it's plus. Okay, it counter hits. That's gross. So it's out of heavy Arabia. So we should probably write that down. Last but not least is Nail Assault, which is the kick out of the dive. That's kind of crazy. Let's see that one more time. What did he hit him with? Heavy. Uh, so out of EX Eagle Spike, you can hit the the Arabian Cyclone into Nail Assault. Overdrive launches it and it leaves a tornado. Okay. Nice, nice. Air currents ramp up your heavy hitting combo potentials. Yeah. I also noticed that too when we were looking through his normals and specials. If you EX out of that, would that mean you can combo after that as well? He's gonna be very bar heavy. Heavy. Arabian Sky High. This is the uh, another move he has where he flips in the air. He doesn't have the eagle spike anymore. That creates an air current that you then use to perform a mid-air jump. It's possible to perform the jump attacks after the mid-air jump. Moves that you change your air timing on jump ins, throw your opponents off the game. You can also use it to cook up some aerial combos. Yeah. The timing and distance of the mid-air jump will change depending on the strength of the button used. But once you get the hang of that, there will be no stopping you. Yep. Like, I think light goes the furthest and heavy or medium goes. It's weird. It's not the same as the eagle spikes or the mixers. It's, it's like backwards. Oh, so after the EX, you get the eagle spike in the air, though. 
so it should be easy to use. Land it, follow up will smash your opponent into the ground, setting you up for an, ad, uh, an advantageous state. If you miss or your opponent blocks it, don't forget you can press back or forward to clip the distance. Oh, really? So you can, can, you can kind of semi-control it, so that's cool. Next guy, Super Rashid Kick, his special. His, this is number one, or his level one. Offload a devastating kick while soaring through the air and end up, or blah, forward through the air. Landing the initial hit on a grounded opponent will increase the move's damage. Oh, okay. But if it's, okay, if it's in the air, it's just a hit. Oh, it's invincible. No way. His level one's invincible. That's sick. Not as much damage if you hit an aerial opponent. That's crazy that it's invincible, bro. It's about time. Next guide. Yasar. I remember this. Kick out with both legs to create a large advancing whirlwind movement or special move that make contacts with the whirlwind will leave their properties changed. This is his level or his critical art. Not his critical art in this game from Street Fighter V. You can walk behind the cyclone. Well, y'all see that, that frame drop? But yeah, you can walk through the with the tornado, except in this game, you can walk with it. Also, it looks like it leaves a whirlwind that you can uh, use any special move out of. So that's kind of hype. Glad they brought that back, and I'm glad it's a level 2 now. I thought it was a little underwhelming in the last game, even though it's what partly, partially made him good. Run gains a speed boost if you pass through the whirlwind, and jumps will travel faster. I like how he like has a sandy effect out of it. Ooh. It increases the damage I play too. That's sick. I wonder if you can combo Eagle Spike out of that. For instance, hit the Whirlwind with the Wavy and Cyclone and you'll send Yasar flying. That's kind of gross. Like a projectile, if someone's trying to put space between them and the Whirlwind, surprise them with this, with this trick. Okay. You're a master of the winds. If you want to freestyle unique sequences, this is the move for you. Fair enough. This character is so cool. Altair. Or Altair. <laughs> nah. Twirl around and summon a whirlwind that flips or lifts up your opponent before Rashid barrages them with a series of powerful blows. A versatile move. Perfect for combos, reversals, and as a way of dealing with projectiles. This... Ooh, Fireball Invincible. This is level 3, so... Also his critical card, but also his level 3 at the same time. Yeah, that's sick. That's his down forward, down forward, heavy punch, or punch in general. If you're aiming for the combo route to go into it from a special move after connecting with a normal attack, but I recommend launching your opponent into the air first. And then dropping this on them for a sure hit. Fair enough. Fundamentals. Mobility is key to, to my style. So let's go over some basics. Is it Rashid talking? Uh, first off, you'll want to focus on your footies. Make it difficult for them to move forward and around and have them second guessing when they can go to the offense. My long reaching standing medium and heavy kicks are perfect for that. The cancelable crouching medium kicks, another good call. Keep an eye on the distance as you step in and out and keep poking away with those kicks. Okay. Also, what I noticed from uh, his buttons earlier, I know I haven't gone into the training room or done his trials yet, but what I noticed earlier is the standing medium kick also goes into his medium punch heavy kick target combo. So that's something to keep your head on. And also he has a shoto low forward, so that's lit. <laughs> Excuse me. If you manage to hit with crouching medium kick, then cancel it into a spinning mixer for an Arabian or an Arabian cyclone. You'll find it easier to set up space. Yeah, fair enough. Oh boy. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Golly. When there's space between you and your opponent, it's whirlwind shot time to shine. Light and medium shots have range, while heavy is your go-to against anyone jumping in. Hold down the button for a delayed shot to really mix things up. Fundamentals 2. Now, sometimes your opponent's going to bring the heat to you. That's why reading their movements and picking the right way to deal with them are going to be crucial to coming out on top. Heavy Screen Mixer is a solid anti-air move if you want to drop someone to Earth. If that move's too tricky for you, then pull off in the moment. Then the Crouching Medium Punch has got to... Uh, damn, the way he worded this. Has got your back. And if you're feeling really adventurous, you can also go air-to-air uh, -air with a Jumping Medium Punch and try to start a combo. That's actually probably the smartest way to go. Let's see that combo again. Crouching mini punch, that, that's always my go-to me uh thingy. They look like jump into medium Arabian twist? It's gonna give me a second to get used to these names. Air throws are another option if you're close enough. So that does uh so that about does it. Practice your entire game until it's second nature and keep your radar up. Of course. Let's see that air throw one more time. That's great. He says kiss the ground. Oh my god. Continue to the next guide. Advanced one. Got the basics down? Then it's time for the advanced stuff. Let's look at some ways to move in and how to put my unique attacks to use. Master this stuff and it'll blow your options wide open when you're fighting for control of the neutral. If you want to make an interest in true Rashid file or style, then it's all about run. This one will let you choose the uh, close the gap in a blink. Also, jump forward mid run at the extra uh, and the extra momentum to carry your jump further than usual. Ugh, that's gross. And you could do that. It looks like out of the dash too, like at the beginning of the run. Is your opponent hanging back and firing off projectiles at you? No problem. Slip under and surprise them with a backup. This is his uh, forward punch out of the run. And tagging someone with the tip of the attack will leave you less open for counterattacks. And when your opponent kicks low to put the brakes on your run, break out Tempest Moon to bound over and it keeps moving forward. Use a right move out of run for the right situation and you'll have no trouble getting in close. Smart, smart. Besides run, you've also got some useful unique attacks for offensive pressure. There's Crescent Kick, which is his forward heavy kick. Uh, which is a great counter to low kicks and don't forget flapping spin, which is his forward medium punch Flapping spin which comes out and recovers nice and quick You can pair either of these together with a drive rush to give them even more mo uh, utility mm, That's sick Next guy advanced two. and last but not least my secret weapon air currents Whip up one of these to ride the wind and switch up your movements in all sorts of ways. Trust me, this trick is going to make you look real good and leave enemies bamboozled. <laughs> yes. There are a couple of options to get air currents going. Either a fully charged whirlwind shot or an overdrive Arabian cyclone will get you will get you one. Also, your super two. When you jump or use run to go through an air current, you'll get a speed boost and more distance on the jump. Advancing unique attacks passing through the wind also gain both benefits so don't forget to make use of them he use I think he just used the flapping spin on this one right yeah yeah that guy goes full screen that's crazy and if you want spinning mixer or eagle spike to move faster and hit harder you can ride the wind them too it's a great trick for upping the damage on your combos or hitting your opponent with a nice surprise from a distance also I don't know if you guys seen, but that light spinning mixer was plus on hit. It's also plus on block. My advice is start with light spinning mixers, which won't leave you exposed when blocked, and eagle spike when you want to break in. Once you've got that down pat, spend some time working on them into combos. Working them into combos. The storm conjure from my super art, Yasar, gives you the same benefit as well. Air currents and doubles as an attack that you can 
work into some crazy attack sequences. Use it, and you're bound to blow the competition away. And that's it. I know I said this was the trials, but this is just the uh, the character guide. The next video is going to be the trials. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me guys what you thought about this. What is your favorite move that Rashid has? And as always, don't forget to bear punch that like button. And I'll see you on the interwebs. Peace. Yes, sir.